the pretty cadran is next this is the french gold cup french equivalent of the ascot gold cup because we've got the Cheltenham gold cup to look forward to later over on the national hunt side of things at two and a half miles this one and our top George Orwell for Paul Rhodes, Tree Case Richer for Satyam, Sandra Sager, and Bluebell Chester for David Robertson, Ida Trap, Darren Thompson, Go Time, Joshua Sutherland, Heaven's Riches, Craig Beckwith, Hybrid October, Graham Clitterbuck, Lady Warsong, Padre Hogan, Riot Act, Leon Van Rensburg, and Total Delight, John Morgan. So, all ready to go. And away they go. And Cameron nearly forgot to go with them then. <laughs> Gone off okay in the end, and right at closest to us is just about in the lead. But now, Tree Case Rush has come through to take it up. So that's a uh, Satyam Sandra Sagram horse. We normally see in Satyam in the nought to eighties and a nought to nineties. So, I'm not sure what rating this horse has got, but I bet it's not got any more than 90. It'll be fascinating to see where this one finishes in amongst the others, and also be fascinating to see how Graham Clutterbuck does with his think. It's hybrid in October. He's got, it's the only one he's got in it, isn't it? Hybrid in October. Indeed it is, because I remember him saying to me, and he was in hospital recently, that he was a bit annoyed about missing Royal Ascot because he thought he'd, he'd got the horse that was going to win the Ascot Gold Cup. So I'm presuming that hybrid in October is indeed that horse, because he's only been out once so far this season. So let's see how that one goes as well. But at the moment, Tree Case Richard is doing what he would be doing if he was in a 0 90 handicap, and that's leading by a good five or six lengths. George Orwell is in second, and Heavens Richards is third, Ida Trap is fourth. The rest of them are pretty closely grouped with Lady Warsong, probably just the back marker. But it's Tree Case Richer in front for Satyam. With George Orwell in second, closest to us, Go Time is in third. On that one's inside Bluebell Chester, who I think is the only grey in the field, Riot Act is after that one, and uh, then Ida Trap with Heaven's Riches Hybrid October is nearer the back than the front at the moment, but the leader, Tree Case Richard, is still well clear with a long way still to go. We've still got over a mile and a half to travel. They've covered the first mile, and Tree Case Richard has been in the lead all the way so far, but the lead is not what it was as they come up the Long Shomp Straight, which is always a very confusing straight because you pass this bus station and that totalisator board and you think you're going to be near the winning post. And then you see all those people and you're convinced you're going to be near the winning post and then you see that screen and the winning post is that little bit further on and it's caught me out on many an occasion by getting ready to commentate on a finish half a furlong too soon. And these are rather stretched out. Final part of the track there with all the stuff going on but it's tree case richard is in the lead go time is second george wall is third ryan act is fourth then ida trap and bluebell chester heavens rich is next hybrid in october is now just about the back marker alongside total delight john morgan normally does well with his stayers and he doesn't run horses unless everything is in their favor going wise and distance wise so I expect that one to be nearer the front at the end as well tree case richard is leading still but only by about a length net to riot act in second go time is in third then george orwell is next lady warsong after that one bit of a gap to bluebell chester and then ida trap totally like hybrid october and heavens which is who none of them have made any sort of move as yet tree case richard now being pushed along with five furlongs to go maybe he's been shown up for the handicapper that he is shortly because riot act is moving alongside in second then comes george orwell back in third lady warsong is fourth go time is in fifth then bluebell chester the gray starts to make a forward move on the outside they've left the back four behind total delight hybrid in october heavens riches and Ida trap are gonna have to really start to motor with three and a half furlongs to go and tree case richard is still Battling on the inside, in front with three to go. From Bluebell Chester in second, Riot Act in third. Here comes Hybrid in October now, unleashing a run on the outside. Trying to chase him is Heavens Riches, the one who's disappointing his eye to trap. But it's Tree Case Richard who's still in front then with two furlongs to go. Tree Case Richard from Hybrid in October and Bluebell Chester. George Orwell is next, and now Hybrid in October comes through to take it up. But he's immediately being pressed by Bluebell Chester. Tree Case Richard is trying to battle back. They're beginning to close on the leaders. It's a furlong to go. And 
it's Highbury in October in front, Bluebell Chester is in second, it's Highbury in October in front by about half a length, Highbury in October in front, is he going to get compensations for missing the Ascot Gold Cup, Bluebell Chester is trying to close but Highbury in October is holding on and Highbury in October takes it from Bluebell Chester, George Orwell and then Heaven's Riches and I don't think there will be anybody who begrudges Graham Clutterbuck that win because he's missed a load of the season ill in hospital and he told me he'd got an Ascot Gold Cup winner before the season started and I'm pretty sure that must be it because he's just won the French equivalent which I'm sure will go some way to making up for the fact that he missed out at Ascot so Highbury in October for Grand Clutterbuck wins it Bluebell Chester for David Robertson second Heavens Richards for Craig Beckwith third George Orwell for Paul Rhodes fourth and Total Delight for John Morgan was fifth and I would like to suggest that is probably going to be the most popular winner for everybody of the week. Well done Gray.